So have you been turned off from buying a VR headset despite the crazy price, but the lack of games in general? Well, it looks like Steam might have solved the problem. Did someone say VR support for every single game on Steam? Hey everyone, what is going on? Elvis here. So today I wanted to tell you guys about Steam Desktop VR. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's actually a brand new platform for Steam to allow games that don't support virtual reality to support virtual reality. So it's a little bit complex. There's a lot of stuff going around this. Let me jump into the details. So it looks like next week, Valve is going to share some more features about the Steam VR desktop in theater mode. So Steam VR is currently in early beta, but what the hell is this technology? What does it actually do? So it's essentially a mode that you can activate in theater mode on Steam that emulates virtual reality for games that don't support virtual reality or VR. It appears to have the same effect as sitting inside a huge theater. The theater being the HTC Vive or, you know, an Oculus Rift or whatever. But it's carefully designed to cater for players who are playing games sitting down. When you think about the opposite, you know, with the VR, you've got the hand controllers, you're kind of walking around taking up a lot of space. Well, you can actually do it in a seating position, simply tilting your head left to right. So I think this is going to be quite an interesting technology to see because it's going to curve the actual game's vision. What's going to happen to the depth of field? They're boasting that it's going to support all games on Steam, which is actually incredibly interesting because some games just won't be good for VR. A lot of the titles that are already developed go out of their way to combat motion sickness. Now, one of the big things that's already kind of acknowledged anyway is that look if a game's designed specifically for vr it's going to play way better anyway but if it's not we do have this option so it does obviously have some limitations but i think the way that it is going to adapt your vr headset to a specific game that you never thought you would actually play on vr that might have been developed ages ago is a really cool idea. One thing that I would be definitely looking forward to would be Rocket League. Now, I'm personally not going to be investing into virtual reality, just not yet anyway. I'm going to wait for it to get released. And one of the reasons is because of the price range. I live in Australia, so if you thought the price was expensive in the US, you should see it here. Hopefully, we can get a live action demo of it in the works. I really want to see how this fleshes out because that's one thing for me personally as well. Even if I was going to get the VR, virtual reality, you know, HTC Vive, whatever, the games that are specifically designed for it look really casual and bad. With the exception to say Ark that does support it, they're just not that good. Like, you know, the Disarm the Bomb game, like how much really? How, you're going to get bored of that pretty quick if you ask me. So hopefully, you know, the tech demos can prove that it will remove that barrier of a lack of games being supported for the virtual reality headset. So yeah, guys, pretty interesting stuff. This is a fantastic move from Steam or Valve to actually support games when developers might not be able to. Uh, a lot more of a broader scope. I think it opens up the range of someone who wants to buy a VR and is held back because of the games that are available specifically designed for VR, even though it might not be just quite the exact same experience and the mechanics won't be revolving around having a VR on your head. I still think it's a really cool idea and I'm interested to see what they actually unveil during the beta announcement at uh, the upcoming event.